Also on set with a horse galloping down the highway here in Taunton. Troopers hoofed into the area quickly to help rein him in. <laughs> See what you did there, Ryan. And we're, we're making a little bit of a joke there because he's home. He's back in his stall. He's safe. So 7 Steve Cooper's in Taunton where the owners are trying to figure out how he escaped in the first place. Horse on the highway. Okay, he's looking. He's, he's trying. It was off to the races, or at least the roads. Cell phone video capturing this runaway horse galloping down Route 140 in Taunton Tuesday. Just got a report of a horse coming down the highway, 140 southbound by Stephen Street. Matt? Did you say hello? After an hour on the run, Max, the six-year-old Shire Cross draft horse, was back in his corral. According to his owner, Liz Norton, he's new to the area arriving in town a little over a week ago. He broke through the fence over in that corner and um, he just got loose and he went for a jaunt. Turns out the jaunt took him here to the highway before state troopers along with the MSPCA Angel Police were able to safely take Max into custody. The trick was a treat. A treat a piece of peppermint candy. The lady from the MSPCA had, had uh, some mints in her car. These are our mints, but she she learned what the mint, mint which is his favorite treat. Mischievous Max. Miss Mischievous Max, yes. <laughs> new name for a new horse in town who is no doubt happy to be home. He's back and he's home and he's safe and he well we have one thing of electric. Now we're going to have three and. Um, yeah, he's not going anywhere again. So after his unexpected mid-morning getaway, Max is home, safe and sound, and happy to be enjoying all of his peppermint treats. And you know what? He is home for the holidays. All right, give me one in a second. Steve Cooper, 7 News. Oh, snack, I hope right? we gave him another peppermint. Oh, man, that's so good that it worked out. It could have been dangerous for everybody. Big horse, too, draft horse. Coming up here from the news station, how experts say the weather 